South African hunter-gatherers, often referred to as the San or Bushmen, are among the most genetically unique human populations in the world. Genetic studies reveal that the San possess the highest levels of genetic divergence observed in any human population, which could be explained by their early split from the rest of sapiens and extreme historical bottlenecks. Traditionally, the San were highly skilled hunter-gatherers, relying on extensive ecological knowledge to survive in the challenging environments of the Kalahari Desert. FST analysis of South African hunter-gatherer genomes reveals their closest human population to be Hadza tribe of Tanzania. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of four ancient South African hunter-gatherers and ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Let's start with Bab001. He was male and lived in South Africa 20 centuries ago. He carried Y lineage A1B. He is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, dark brown skin, kinky hair texture, and a snub nose shape. Regarding his dopaminergic profile, he is predicted to be a worrier and to have higher D2 receptor availability. He had intermediate odds of autism, higher levels of empathy, lower odds of obesity, and blood type A. He had high odds of myopia, multiple sclerosis, glioma, polycythemia vera, and allergies. He carried rare risk variants for Fabry disease. He had low odds of hemoglobin E disease, gout exfoliation glaucoma, age-related macular degeneration, stroke, deep vein thrombosis, cardiovascular issues, type 2 diabetes, prostate cancer, and testicular cancer. Next, let's move on to Ella001. She was female and lived in South African four centuries ago. She is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, dark brown skin, kinky hair texture, and a snub nose shape. She was also a worrier and was predicted to have intermediate D2 receptor availability. She had higher odds of autism, higher level of empathy, lower odds of obesity, and blood type A. She had high odds of epilepsy, myopia, ADHD, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, prostate cancer, and polycythemia vera. She carried rare risk variants for Gilbert syndrome, Vardenberg syndrome, familial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, spina bifida, and dwarfism. She had low odds for hemoglobin E disease, age-related macular degeneration, leukemia, stroke, male pattern baldness, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, cardiovascular issues, type 2 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, thyroid cancer, and testicular cancer. Next, we move on to Mfo001. She is female and lived in South Africa five centuries ago. She is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, dark brown skin, kinky hair texture, and a snub nose shape. Regarding her dopaminergic profile, she was intermediate between the warrior and warrior profiles, had intermediate D2 receptor availability, intermediate odds of autism, intermediate levels of empathy, intermediate odds of obesity. She carried blood type O. She had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, exfoliation glaucoma, epilepsy, leukemia, corneal astigmatism, primary biliary cirrhosis, cardiovascular issues, and Alzheimer's. She carried rare risk variants for familial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and dwarfism. She had low odds for eczema, age-related macular degeneration, stroke, male pattern hair loss, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, schizophrenia, prostate cancer, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. Finally, we move on to New 001, who is female and lived in South Africa five centuries ago. She is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, dark brown skin, kinky hair texture, and snub nose shape. She is predicted to be a worrier and to have higher D2 receptor availability. She had intermediate odds of autism and lower levels of empathy. She is predicted to have intermediate odds of obesity and blood type O. She had high odds of hemoglobin E disease, leukemia, corneal astigmatism, depression, and multiple sclerosis. She carried rare risk variants for familial thoracic aortic aneurysm, myosclerosis, and leaf fermini syndrome. She had low odds of kidney stones, gout, exfoliation glaucoma, polycystic ovary syndrome, stroke male pattern baldness, atrial fibrillation, deep vein thrombosis, type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, Alzheimer's, glioma, thyroid cancer, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. 
You can purchase all four genomes along with my trait predictor tool from links in description of the video.